Umar Hogg's Tale, Chapter 2, The Truth Sonic lived with his uncle Chuck in a small house not far from the beach. Sonic was currently sitting in his bedroom, which had posters of rock bands and his track and field trophies all over the place. His comforter on his bed was a custom blue design. Right now, though, Sonic was busy looking at his unexplainable color-changing fur with the mirror. How am I going to explain this one? He wondered as he tossed the mirror onto his desk and flopped back onto his bed. Sonny boy, I'm home. I'm on stairs. He called as he pulled the covers over his head. He wasn't ready for 20 questions just yet. Chuck came into the room. Charles was a mumbium middle-aged hedgehog who bared many physical similarities to Sonic, such as blue fur, although Chuck's is a few shades lighter than Sonic's. He has a thick gray mustache that obscures his mouth, as well as similarly thick gray eyebrows, arching over his blue eyes. For attire, Charles wore a maroon-colored slightly pointed shoes with two dark yellow stripes and white cuffs, and like most other of, of his species, white gloves. I heard about what happened at the competition today. He said, Sonic felt his heart stop. Too bad about that wipeout. It can happen to even the best surfers. Sonic relaxed and his heart started again. Uncle Chuck? He started trying to figure out how to word his dilemma. Have you ever had something odd or weird happen to you before? To me an odd or weird like, whoa. Or weird like, whoa. Or maybe even weird, a weird, whoa, 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 whoa. Well... Sonic didn't think any of those woes were it. Something like this? He sighed in defeat and came out from under the covers, revealing his now changed fur. Whoa! You dyed your fur? No, this happened during the competition. I was surfing when my fur just suddenly changed color. Really? Chuck asked his full attention on the recently turned 16-year-old teen. Yes, I didn't, then still don't know what's going on. Anyway... I sunk under the water where I thought I was breathing. And then, a purple dolphin came up to me and started acting like we were old friends. At these words, Chuck sat down on the edge of the bed. Whoa. Sonic turned to his guardian with fearful eyes. Uncle Chuck, what's happening to me? Am I going crazy? No, you're not crazy. Then what's going on? What is happening to me? He asked as he sat up. You're growing up. Growing up? That's it? Sonic couldn't believe his ears. He was growing up. For crying out loud, his fur had changed color. Sonic, this may be off topic, but do you remember what happened to your parents? Yeah, they died in a house fire when I was a baby. Well, that is only half true. Your father died in a fire. The older hedgehog said, shocking his nephew. But then, what happened to my mother? I'm getting to that. Now, your father was one for telling stories. So when you told me he had fallen in love and married a sea fae, also known as a mermaid, I thought it was another one of his tall tales. <laughs> but then almost three months after the fire. Charles sighed as he worked at upgrading his boat, trying to get the image of his only family member left being lowered into the ground out of his memory. Chuck? A soft female voice asked from the waters behind him. That's me. He replied, not turning around. He assumed it was another person who wanted to offer their condolences for his loss. I'm Alina. I believe Jules told you about me. Chuck spun around so fast that he slept on the slippy docks. He looked out to the water and saw her swimming up to the docks. The Mobian saw instead of legs, she had a tail. He couldn't believe it. What his brother had told him was true. Alina came as close to the docks as she could. Thankfully, it was shallow water, so Chuck jumped down and met her halfway. With the ocean water up to his waist, Alina smiled and pulled the sash away from her stomach to reveal a baby hedgehog 
sleeping peacefully against its mother's abdomen. The baby had sapphire blue fur and peach arms, muscle, and chest. For now, the little hedgehog had no quills yet. To Chuck, the baby was a spitting image of Jules. Jules died before I had the chance to tell him I was pregnant with his child. I had this little one about a month ago. His name is Sonic. She explained with a smile and the baby shifted before settling again. Hey, no tail. Chuck gasped as he looked at his nephew and saw a small pair of blue legs curled up against his body. Yes, he looks exactly like a Mobian. That is why it's not safe for him in the ocean. Why not? I may be the queen of the sea, but having any contact with the surface people is strictly forbidden. There could be a rebellion. It is not safe for my son to be there. If anyone found out that he is half Mobian, they will surely kill him. So, I have to ask, will you raise him? He'll fit in better here, and he'll be safe. Of course. He said without any hesitation. He loved the baby hedgehog the minute he first saw him. Alina smiled as she carefully removed the sling that her son was sleeping in and placed it around the Mobian's neck before taking a locket from a pouch in her belt. It was a golden shell with a pale blue pearl on the center. On the back was some writing that Chuck couldn't understand. This will keep him safe from harm, she said as she placed the necklace over her son's head and placed a teary kiss on the baby's forehead before diving back into the depths of the sea. After that, I never saw your mother again. Sonic dropped his gaze to the locket around his neck. He had it for as long as he could remember. I know it's a lot to take in. The older hedgehog said as he looked at his nephew. Are you okay? Yeah. Sonic growled, sarcastically leaping to his feet as his voice rose. I'm fine. I just found out that my mom is a mermaid, and I'm half merhog, and I have a magical necklace to protect me, along with an insane uncle. Sonic, I'm telling you the truth. He said as he rose to his feet as well. Yeah? And my dad was like, what, the Loch Ness Monster? He said with an eye roll. Sonic, when have I ever lied to you? Pretty much my whole life. Sonic. I need some time to think. He mumbled angrily as he tugged on his sneakers and he reeved down to the beach sand, where he activated his video watch. Tails, Amy Knuckles, we still good for the cove? Last time I checked, yes. Out of dumb curiosity, why? I need a major reality check. He answered with a sigh and took off for the meeting place. And that's what he told me. <sighs> now I know I'm losing my mind because craziness clearly runs in my family. The four friends were currently sitting up on a tall rock. Sonic was looking down at his feet, which were dangling off the edge of the rock. Amy had her iPad out and was looking for info on Cife. Knuckles and Tails were looking at the back of Sonic's head. So... Your uncle said that you're half fish, your mom is not dead, and she gave you a protective necklace? That's about it. He's crazy and now I am too. Craziness doesn't explain your fur, but being half merhawk might. Technically, they're called sea fae. Ah, uh -huh. What? The fox asked as they turned to her. This website says that in mythology, when sea fae reach the end of puberty, they go through physical changes such as longer or different colored hair. Sometimes both. See, this proves it. Yeah, it proves you can make up anything and put it on the internet. Oh, come on. This is real sea fate fact. Sonic is living proof of this. Well, the fur changing color is hard to explain. Guys, I'm not a proof. I came to you so you could talk me out of this craziness, not dick me in deeper. For goodness sake, I thought I was breathing underwater and the purple dolphin was trying to play with me. Suddenly, something splashed some cold seawater on Sonic's back, making him gasp as he turned around, looking down and saw the amethyst-colored dolphin he had met. The dolphin clicked and chirped happily. Aw, he didn't tell us it was so cute! This cannot be happening, Tails said in shock as he took a step back. My thoughts exactly. Well, I'm sold on you being a fish. What? We're tugging to a purple dolphin. <laughs> this is so cool. No, it's not. 
If this is true, why am I only finding out now? Because you've come of age. Your Murhod self has resurfaced. Yeah, I don't believe any of this. I don't believe I'm half sea fae. He shouted as he snapped off his shell locket. Or it's a make-believe mermaid mother and her so-called protected necklace. As he finished his rant, he threw the necklace down on the rock, shattering it. But no one expected what happened next. Blue, sparkling mist rose from the shards and just floated in front of the four teens. Suddenly, it shot straight into Sonic's chest, knocking him to the ground with a thud. All he could register was his friend's panicked cries before he passed out.